Leos and uh, Scorpios. These guys, these individuals, their relationships always going to be at conflicts. Always going to be a tug of war. And of course, they're going to box themselves, conceal themselves. And of course, they put themselves in situations of trapping each other. Trapping each other's. Now, thing is, fire, you can't contain fire. You can't conceal it. But being that Leo is fixed, it's fixing their fire. Fixing their passions. Fixing their goals. Fixing their ways of feeling and seeing about their visions. And of course, directing these things. With the Scorpios, these individuals are fixed in the way they feel about things. Fixed in their passions. Fixing their goals. And of course... You also got the Leo perspective exalting Mars, which is the other side of the perspectives of Scorpio and uh, Aries. So let's put them into this situation where the Leo is going to love the Scorpio. But these two are going to have differences and things of that matter. I mean, these two are not going to know what to do or how to contain each other. Because one wants all the attention in the world. And all eyes on me, Tupac. One wants all the power and control. And of course, can get very manipulative at times too. So these individuals can put themselves in situations of narcissism, conflicts, tug of wars, and of course, it can get so out of hand that they put themselves in situations of staying in each other at times. So, and of course, their differences and their passions is what key, is the key to basically get shit manifested. But when you're dealing with fire and water, feel me, the water can be so fixed and heavy that it can basically take the fire out sometimes. The fire can be so fixed that it could just try to burn out the water sometimes. And of course, that's when these two individuals are just constantly going to keep going at each other. Head to head, head to tug of war. Especially if you guys are not being fixed towards building a relationship. That how it's supposed to basically bring harmon harmonious peace and endeavors into that. Also, the sun falls in Libra. So basically, that means that Leo's in, in general, like if, if it's not about them, then it's the other way out. So they got to learn how to basically... Get into get out their ego, get more relatable, and of course, get more compatible, and of course, they'll be right. So, you also Scorpio falls in uh Aquarius that means it takes a lot for them to basically really open up to the public and basically get connected with individuals. So, they can be very secretive, very hidden behind closed doors, 11 11. Also, to put, put them in situations of you know not really trusting the individuals, it takes time for I me. Mean, that's fixed water, that water got to be fixed with that individual, so that fire got to be fixed. With that individual, in order for that fire can basically show this true big heart and true ways to relate. And of course, this relationship can work out. You guys will just have to learn from each other. And of course, it won't. Don't put yourself into a situation where you got a tug of war, or always knuckle up. And of course, you know the sex is gonna be even amazing because these two individuals they gonna fuck real good. For me, that's that's hand down. They gonna fuck real good. For me, only thing they gotta work on is the um emotions, their sensitivity, and of course, learn how to share the ball a little bit. Y'all be 